Hello and welcome to our fourth Java Intermediate Tutorial. On our last video we went through polymorphism, which we know we had aesthetic and a dynamic example. And also we went through a nested class, which is a class inside another class. So today we will be going through ENAM. Enum is an abbreviation of enumeration. So what is an enum? An enum class represents a group of constants that are unchangeable or overridden, like when we make final variables. So these are four constants. And we are going now on our Java main program and we are going to call that class. So we know that the class is colors colors object name and the color dot the constant and here we are going to call the object let's run the program and we get the result as white so let's do another example here i'm going to use a constructor which we said a constructor is a special method that has the same name as our class, here I have declared class as color, and I have created also a, a method. And inside our method, we have a switch case. And I have wrote color inside here, so in our Java main program, I can change any color I want. So again, this is the class name, the object, new class, and I'm going to call the switch case from colors. Then the object and the method. The same goes to the other to the other object. And here we are going to call the black and the blue. So let's run the program. And as you see, we got the color is black and the color is blue, which we have over here. So I have called case black, case black and case blue. So let's do another example of any enum. This time we are going to do to use an if statement. So again, we are going to declare a variable enum type, the, the class name. We are going to declare it as enum or as color. Then the class name dot, the syntax, and the constant. That is red. Then I have created a method and then if, if else if statement. So it means if the color is red, then it's going to print here the color is red. We can change also of the variable, the constant name as we like. So let's go to our Java main program. Here we are going to call the class name. Here we're going to write the object again, the class name, then the object dot the method, which is again fave color. So let's run the program. And as you see, you get the color is red. Okay, so now I will show you how to print out dates, time, and both of them. So where first we need to import the package, which is java.time, and then the date, local date, the class. Again, we're going to import the package and the time. The same goes for both of them. So here we're going to create three methods. The first one will, will, will be method date, the method time, and the method of both of them. So we are going to print them out. We will go, now we go to our main program to create three objects. So the first one, as we said, is date, the time, and both of them. So let's run the program to see the result, the output. So the first one is the date, the second one is the time, and as you see, we have also we, we need to get rid of uh, of the numbers over the decimal point. And the third one, it says the year, the month, the date, t, and the time, and also we need to get rid of the numbers after the decimal places. So let's see how ca we can convert the time as readable. So over here I have imported, imported 
the source package java.time.format and here the time formatter s class over here i have created a method i have declared the local date time.now inside my date object then i have created another object uh, for pattern and i have chosen this type of pattern pattern then i'm going to convert uh, the local time.now and pattern inside a string so let's go to our main java program again we're going to the, to to create an object of of that class and the object dot the method which is the local date time formatted let's run the program so as you see at the end the date and time are more readable so let's say uh, some of you like that the date must be displayed first from as month and then as date and let's say we don't need the seconds so we are going to change the pattern and we are going to run again the program so as you see the first one is the month the second one is the date which is 17 and here we have the time without seconds so that was all about how to create the date and time including pattern so let's see how we can use now a user input so first of all we have to import the package and the class this is java.util this is the, the package the source package and the scanner is the class now inside our method we are going to write scanner the object new scanner and inside the parenthesis system.in first we are going to ask for the name and then we are going to store the name inside our username as string so we are going to say to write object the object which is the object of the scanner then next dot line which is string then again we are going to ask for a result which means is going to be an integer so we're going to read the user input and store it in the result as integer again the object dot next int this time because here it was a string and now we need it as an integer then if result is greater or equal than 50 it's going to print out the name the result and pass else else if it is less than 50 again it's going to print the username the result but this time failed so let's run the program so let's write the username let's write then hit enter then the exam result let's say 89 hit enter and we get an output of username is Ben and this result was 89 so as it is greater or equal than 50 we have a pass let's run again this, the program but this time we are going to, to input an, an integer less than 50 so let's say 24 so again as you see username is Ben the result is 24 but this time we got a failed so over here as we said we, we have next line as string next integer as integer but there are more there are like long short double boolean etc so that was all about user input if you like my videos please share and subscribe thank you